Very pleasing to see that as a result of this testing blitz, uh, three cases have been identified in today's total of 13 that came about uh, as a direct result of the testing blitz. So I want to remind Victorians that we have uh, 22 uh, supermarket locations who've got testing sites underway this weekend, uh, as well as 52 specialist sites right across Victoria. So there are many, many uh, locations that you can uh, go and get tested for uh, coronavirus and all of those details are available on the Department of Health and Human Services uh, website, including a locality map to assist you to find a location uh, close, uh, close to your home. Uh, so it's very easy to be tested in terms of the shopping centre sites. It is a drive-through option. You will stay in your car the entire time. Uh, they will take some details from you uh, around your symptoms and your uh, personal identification. You need to take your Medicare card with you. And if you don't have a Medicare card, for example, if you're an international student, uh, you can show other forms of identification. So it's very easy. Uh, you will stay in your car the entire time as they ask you these questions and and of course, even uh, whilst you are being tested by the relevant pathology staff as well. So uh, it does not take a, a long time to, to have the test undertaken, but we do know that we're getting more and more uh, people going to our shopping centres now for this drive-through testing option, and we ask you for your patience. It's very important that we get as many people as possible to be tested as part of this testing blitz. Uh, so uh, in terms of other data, uh, I can advise you that uh, Victoria Police undertook 853 checks uh, yesterday and as a result 46 individuals uh, received uh, fines. So, uh, so one other uh, uh, announcement that I wanted to make uh, relates to uh, the fact that we have had a teacher uh, test positive at uh, Meadow Glen Primary School in Epping. Uh, the, um, the Department of Health and Human Services uh, confirmed this case yesterday uh, and the Department of Education and Training have been working with the school uh, to support them at this time. Uh, so parents, carers and staff were contacted by the school uh, earlier this morning to notify them of the fact that a staff member has now tested positive. Uh, the school will be closed for three days, that is from Monday through to Wednesday, to enable uh, thorough cleaning to occur uh, of the school, uh, as well as to enable, of course, all the contact tracing to occur. So this staff member uh, has been on site um, uh, recently uh, as a result, of course, as vulnerable students being present uh, and learning uh, on, on, at the school. Uh, in recent days, so this is why it's necessary for the school to be cleaned. Uh, students uh, who need to attend in person uh, and have no other option in terms of uh, online learning uh, will be supported to be able to attend a neighbouring uh, school. So uh, parents will be provided uh, with all of those options and that information.